the thing that happens that's so important for every human being is to come to the conclusion that you're not God and you're not the one to tell him what the religion is. A priest, a bishop, a pope, a minister, a pastor, they don't have the right to redefine God's religion and come up with something new and say, guys, today we're going to do this. Tomorrow we'll do that. The next day, so and so. If it didn't come from God originally, that would be a man-made religion. And this is what atheists and agnostics are always harping on this yeah. subject. Oh, yeah. man-made religion, man-made religion. I just love God. That's good enough for me. But they don't know that there is a God-made religion. And it's called submission to God in peace. Do his commandments. And for a person who doesn't want to believe, and it's usually because they don't want to do what goes next. To say, I believe in God is one subject. But as soon as you say it, then if you're really a believer in the monotheistic faith, Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, you're going to be bound to those commandments. Because Jesus said himself that he doesn't come to destroy any previous scripture or law or any of the prophets, but rather to fulfill. And so if you understood that, all of these... All of these things are still in place. Nobody has any authority. In fact, look at this. That whoever breaks the least commandment and teaches this, meaning teaching that it's okay to break it, then he's going to be the least in the kingdom. But whoever keeps the commandments and teaches this, he's going to be the highest in the kingdom. And unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, who were the biggest hypocrites, the biggest uh, road hogs of ta in the town taking over the church and running to search, uh, suit themselves, which was the temple, you know. Uh, remember, he drove them out with a whip, the money changers. He was very serious against yeah. what they had done. Yeah. So he's saying this, and, and then you come in and you look at Islam. What is Islam saying? It's essentially the same thing. That we, ha if you have some guy wearing a big turban and out here and he's saying this and saying that, hold on a second. Is that really what God said? Because if I can't find that evidence from the Quran and the teachings of Muhammad, then who is this guy? He's not God. Yep. And that's the problem we have today.